What is going on, you beautiful people? Today we are going to be checking out Common Hood by Plethora. So this game is a survival-based crafting game. So you're just going to start out. We're going to build up. I do believe it's in this abandoned factory. And then we just proceed with all of that. Build it all up. Make it all look good, beautiful. Other than that, I don't really know what we're hopping into. This is going to be my first time playing it. Just like I like to do with all my videos. Just to give you guys the most unique experience into all of this so without further say let's hop into it i didn't choose to leave my home but i also didn't choose to start from scratch i always thought that everything was going to be all right that this kind of thing didn't happen to people like me after my dad passed i found no way to pay back the hospital bills nobody seemed to care they were ready to take everything away i needed to find a new start and build something that they could not touch and I didn't want to depend on them anymore. All right, so it looks like kind of the house got foreclosed on or something happened. And now she's looking to start a new life. I couldn't leave my home before seeing the place both my parents worked. The factory fills the memories of my childhood. But it's been abandoned for years now. So this is the abandoned factory I was telling you all about that we're going to kind of start in and progress through there. I found out that I wasn't the only one attracted to the factory though. I suppose a proper introduction is necessary. So it seems like this is kind of like a, a, we're gonna kind of be building like a shelter a sense for like homeless people, people that don't really have too much going for them. So West Wing, that is where we are at. Tutorial, item management, basic controls, all that stuff. So let's go basic controls use left stick to move use right stick to look around okay use y to open the bag you can send items into inventory slots by pressing a and then adjusting them so let's go here here's my inventory blueprints all that stuff contracts research community missions so that's where the inventory is. So now introducing myself to everybody, let's go talk to Ash. Here's Ash right here. Let's go talk. Another one who fell through the cracks. Cracks. Wake up girl, you're here because they don't care about people like us. If you're not making enough money and keeping your mouth shut, you end up in a place like this. Well, that's not my story. My dad passed away and I lost the house. I couldn't pay the hospital bills. Exactly. Get yourself together. Everyone here is making themselves useful. I see that you have a tent. Why don't you place that somewhere you will need a place to sleep? We'll talk again later. All right, let's go talk to Rhett over here. See what he has. Aren't you too young to be in the streets already? I'm 20. Well, that's quite young. Are you a junkie or something? No. Relax. I just asking, how do you end up here anyway? My dad used to work in this place before before he passed away. What is going on here anyway? Well, I'm sorry to hear about your dad. We are squatting this factory, isn't that obvious? Squatting? Legally occupying this abandoned property. Legally? Well, it should be. Nobody is using this place and we don't have anywhere to go. I see. Do you mean everyone here is homeless? We don't call ourselves homeless. This is our home. People come and go. We are like family. You are welcome to stay. Thanks. I don't have anywhere to go either. We know you don't have to explain yourself. Welcome to the common. Alrighty, now Mo. Let's go talk to Mo. What are you doing here? Did they kick you out as well? Yeah, I didn't know where to go. Many people have passed through this place. Make yourself at home. What's your plan? Plan? Yeah, you don't plan to stay here forever, do you? I don't know. Well, my advice is you make yourself useful. I'm more of a farmer myself. Anyways, you might want to talk to Ash. I'm Mo, by the way the common so that's kind of the name of this compound is the common i guess where have i heard that word before there must be a way to explore this place i still have memories of when my parents used to bring me here when i was a kid but it looks so different now perhaps i should set up a temporary shelter here and see what i can find i'll go ahead and unpack some of the things i brought i'm sure that table saw will be useful all right so it looks like we are gonna be going and placing my stuff around advanced placement Alrighty. Alright, so I'm here. Let's go place this table saw down. Gas generator. Tent. Uh, I think that's all I'm going to. I'll put this in my uh, slots just so it's there. Easy for me to access. Alright, so let's go and place some of this stuff down. Alrighty, so we have our table saw here. We can rotate it around. I'm thinking about kind of putting it more towards the back. Try this. Kind of the corner right here if I can. There we go. Place that. Now we got the table saw. Now we're going to have to put our generator down it looks like 
looks like this table saw is gonna need it so we'll put it close to it that's some serious table saw where'd you get that it's my dad's or was was one of the few things i could get in the truck after the eviction do you work with wood my dad taught me we used to build furniture in our garage i see that could be really handy here really how could you cut some four by fours out of some raw lumber I guess, what do you need those for? I've been trying to start a farming operation here, but I need some raised beds for farming as this place still has lots of polluted soil. The 4x4s will be perfect to build planters. Okay, sure, I can help with that. Great, I will need 40 4x4s. Damn, that's a lot. How do I operate? So do I just, do I need wood? So it looks like I need raw wood. We'll probably figure out a way to go and get that. Let's go crafting, research, power. Machines like tape saw require power to operate. Place out generator from your inventory to provide power. When you have more machines, you need to place more power sources accordingly. Each generator, for example, can power about 10 machines. Generators consume gasoline and will need to be refilled after several days. If you explore, you can also find solar panels, which provide constant power. Depending on how much light they receive, they stop working after sunset. Alrighty. So, so I was looking at, it seems like we can do research if I interact with the books that the, my dad gave me. So if I go here, okay, let's, how do I use these? all right so okay so i placed them down let's go research open tech tree there we go so it looks like all these takes time so i'll start on those two kind of i can only do one at a time so we'll start on that one and kind of let it go through and see what happens with that but now looks like we are going to need to find some lumber. So let's get on that. All right, so I found out these piles right here is where I will get my lumber. I think they're giving me five at a time. So we're just gonna go around and grab a bunch of these piles up. So that way we can then start building all the stuff that I need to build to make this place a little bit more cozy, a little bit more livable for everybody. So I'm just going to run around and grab all the stuff I can. Also, looks like I can clear some of this debris. Looks like it's dropping things as I am doing it. So let's just, we're just going to go through pretty much just tidy this place up. There looks to be a deer in the background too. That's pretty cool that they got some animals in here, over here. This used to be a remarkable place. It once gave jobs to hundreds of people. Now it's just a shelter for wildlife. This single made the whole factory collapse. It actually killed several people. It was a cause for the whole factory to go bankrupt 15 years ago it was all over the news you probably heard about it what's with the mass is this place toxic or something no they belong to the people that used to work here you should ask the others strange so it looks like yet yeah, this big sinkhole right over here Let's see is there a better view of it so yeah it looks like this huge sinkhole had a collapse and it just kind of destroyed a lot of the factory and hurt a lot of the workers so the company went bankrupt not that long ago okay here's a stockpile of a bunch of stuff so that could be very helpful raw lumber all that stuff so let's go okay so i think this is kind of where we can we can use these stockpiles in a sense as also storing so that'll be good looks like we got some gasoline i think the generator might need gasoline or it will at least eventually so we can hold on to that this also looks like a water source i can fill this with my water tank so i might as well oh i can fill up all my water containers with it so i'm gonna do that now i got 10 water jugs looks like food and water and all that stuff i'm gonna need to keep track of so hopefully i don't mess any of that up and stay on top of everything so we're just gonna keep clearing all this debris out and then uh yeah just keep clearing it all out and we'll see what other mysteries and treasures we find all right so i got all the wood now let's go and interact with this and put some of that in there so that way i don't hopefully that didn't just no that added to it so if you can see down in the generator area under that it says fuel remaining so i have 87 hours of fuel so let's go operate this and i am gonna build these so let's go to my materials throw them in there and then i will also throw those in there as well you're getting tired so i need to go to sleep it seems like all right so i'm going to now go and place down my tent in my nice little area that i have kind of made my home can i get it lined up perfectly maybe all right so i just got the tent lined up place it down and now let's go and sleep day one is done 
now it is on to day two. Into day one, objects crafted zero, machines placed zero, blueprints created zero. So hopefully I didn't mess anything up. I don't think I did, um, but I guess we'll find out. So it looks like I can pack. Okay, so if I pack this up, it seems that I take it all away, which I don't really want to do right now. Um, let's start on this and operate and collect this wood. So let's go, he's, I think, let's go. Can I go see my, how much did he need again? So it looks like one of my active missions is going to be craft 44 by four. So let's go and do this real quick. Alrighty, so we just completed the crafting four by fours. Let's go talk to Mo wherever he is at. All right, so I found Mo. Ha, huh, very nice woodworking. Where'd you learn that? Let me guess your dad again. Yeah, I was always hanging out with him in the garage. We built a tree house together. That's a nice project to learn. Now I can get started with my farming operation. You want to help me out? Absolutely. Here's the blueprints I've been following. Do you think you can build a planter? It shouldn't be a problem. You'll need 4x4s and soil that you can find scattered around on it. So I already got my soil. So now it seems like I'm thinking this is going to be the perfect farming area right over here that I cleared out. So let's go and build this right over here. Go back up. Planters. Now let's go, can I not place, dude, they have to be not enough materials. What all do I need? All right, so it looks like I need 28 four by fours per wood. I got a lot of the soil already from collecting earlier. So let's go make a crap ton of four by fours and then that should help us out a lot so let's go operate this all right so i just made a lot more four by fours i think so let's go to my blueprints again so how do i make sure i hold on to the four by fours did i not do i have to grab them out of this oh i do so it looks like i have to go in here do that there we go now i can now go and use these and plant them there we go so let's go corner this guy right there building so it looks like i just kind of just place a bunch of stuff down geez this is pretty i gotta build the whole thing that's insane so it looks like i gotta start drag okay now i gotta place the soil in here so this is a very um yeah so i built the planter that's I didn't expect it to be that much detail in this, but I honestly do like that it is. So I think I'm going to line this back wall all with these planters and then I'm going to just build all of them and then I will let you guys know when I, oh, whoa, I can mess this up too. Hold on. Oh gosh, I just messed. Hold on. There we go. All right, guys. So I just decided to go a little bit smaller with it. It was taking quite a bit of time to do all this stuff. The building in this game is no joke. Um, but I think that should be good for now. We got eight small planters. So let's go and start on some of our other missions that we have to do like sell a chair. So let's go and build a chair and then I have a planter that I need and then plant potato seeds. So let's do this. I do believe I can go in here. I do have the blueprint for the chair so let's go do that place down these nice little legs for this chair now we're building the seat area for it and there we go now we got a chair let's go pack this chair now let's go sell it to the merchant so alka over here is the nice little merchant we have buy is he buying or selling i am selling how do i shop there we go. How do I go ahead and sell this? All right, so I found the sell tab. Let's go and throw this in there and let's sell that for $60. So we got 460. Now I'm getting tired again. It is 9.03 p.m. The day is done. Let it go and sleep the night away. So this game is kind of a slower pace, but it is a very relaxing and kind of soothing game. I really do enjoy it. The music that it has to it kind of just has this like forget about anything that's going on and let's just make this factory new again. Let's just keep building and progressing and all this stuff. And yes, it does take a while. Like right now I'm researching something and it is oh i can fast forward it oh that's amazing to know 
but it takes part of your day away. But now that it is fast forward, my research is now complete. I thought that was like, I had to wait three hours, like real time, not in game time for that to work. So thankfully, thankfully it wasn't like that. So now one of our missions, I do believe is craft a planner. So install a planner machine. I do think, let's figure out how to do that real quick. It was on my research. So now that I have it done, is it somewhere I can, I wonder if it's something I can now, all right, how do I build this thing? <laughs> all right guys, so I was doing some research and it seems like to install the planner machine, I am going to need to fix this generic workbench. So we are gonna do that in the next day. Right now, our girl's a little sleepy, so we're just gonna let her lay her head down, and then uh, tomorrow we'll get that workbench all fixed up. All right, so it seems like I need to find a couple more tools to be able to repair that, so we're just gonna be going and exploring and seeing what all we can find that'll help us repair that bench. All right, so we've completed the mission, repaired the workbench, so now it seems like we are going to be crafting some of the next steps to be able to build the planner. All right guys, so I switched the task that we were doing. The other one seems to be more of a, not a beginner task, let's just say that. It's kind of been a little more challenging, a lot more stuff we have to do and it's just taking a while. So we're just gonna, right now what we are doing is planting potato seeds. Right now all I need to do is just add some water to it. So let's go over and do that. So we planted some potato seeds in our, contains item can i not just plant how okay there we go there we go let's water thanks for the help those potatoes look perfect we'll need a lot more though yeah i see this farming is hard work but i like it yeah me too i really enjoy seeing something grow mo can i ask you something personal yes nikki how did you end up here it's a long story maybe for some other time sure why don't we set up a large farm to feed everyone then? We should eventually sell our produce in a farmer's market. I like that. Count on my help. All right. So it looks like we have watered everything so far. Right now, looks like our community is growing. We got more character stuff that we can do with all of these guys. We can set them to jobs and all of that good stuff. I think Mo, I'm going to assign, obviously, his duty is going to be planter so let's go in and try and make him go over there and do that all right guys so we are now gonna do the put three motors in community storage build three motors in place in community storage right now i'm working on building some of the electronic components that are going with them like this electric wire i need to go ahead and add some of those into oh and now i'm too tired so we're just gonna go and sleep and then tomorrow we're gonna do that all right so we are back after we slept now we are gonna go craft these electric wires after i take these gears out now we can go up and now i need to throw these in there so let's throw a bunch of them in there and let's get this going so let's I think 20 is probably good. Throw 20 in there and let's create 20 of these bad boys. All right, now that I have the electric motor, we need scrap metal, gears, and then electric wire. So we go over to the electric wire we just made. Okay, so the electric wire's in there. Now we need to go throw the gears in there. And now we need to go throw the scrap in there. Now we can make one. Let's keep doing this, throw the scrap, gears, and do this for all of them. I think that's only enough to make two, so we're gonna need to make some more gears. There we go, made eight more gears. Now let's go back to this electric motor. The scrap got thrown in there. Let's take these gears out. All right, now we're crafting our last motor. That is now complete. So now we can go ahead and put this in our inventory. And now we need to place it in the community storage, which is this bad boy right here. So let's go down now over to these, place those in there. Mission is complete. Nice job, those motors your father taught you well. 
that's good for now. Just try selling some and buy some food. Food is always scarce here. If people don't have food, they get pressured and leave. Back to our original task. So what about trying to fix that large crane? That sounds ambitious. I'm not sure if I can do that. You don't need to fix the whole thing. I think the problem is with the control panel, something is not wired right. That's something I can do. I've, I was always good with wires. My father didn't have the patience, so he always let me sort them out. Hmm, that sounds dangerous. Nah, I know how to keep things safe. Leave it to me. Okay, if we manage to fix that crane, we should be able to move some large items around. Would really help. Imagine if we... Really help. Imagine if we could do with this place. I don't think they wrote that right, but imagine what, what we could do with this place. All right, let's go take a peek at this crane and see what all I will need for it. All right, so looking at the crane, it is looking like I'm going to need one of those motors, a circuit, and then some of these wires. So it looks like I can actually... I won't be able to put those wires in yet, but I'm going to go grab those motors real quick and throw those one of those in there. All right, guys. Well, this is where I am going to end this video. Hopefully you all enjoyed kind of a slower paced game. It's more just for a relaxing type sense. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you all in the next one. Deuces.